If you think the world we live in now is bizarre, you're about to be astonished by the strange behavior of our ancestors. Some actions are attributed to boredom, while it's hard to fathom why others existed at all. Some of the things they did are comical, some are cruel, and others are downright absurd. Amazing. Number 20, Lobotomies. Lobotomies were regularly used procedures for more than two decades from the 1940s. The procedure involved careless invasive severing of the connections of the brain's prefrontal lobe. They allegedly cured a variety of mental illnesses from depression to schizophrenia and even homosexuality. The procedure was so common in the early 20th century that the United States performed between 40 to 50,000 of them usually against an individual's will. Fortunately, today the practice has been banned because this crazy way to cure mental illnesses often came with a life sentence as a vegetable by creating other more serious impairments in the patients, such as decreasing their intelligence, self-awareness, and self-control. Basically exactly what you'd expect after cutting someone's brain. Even President Kennedy's sister had one, but it left her permanently incapacitated. This practice was legally put to rest in 1967, with reports of them still occurring throughout the 1980s. Number 19, Chinese foot binding. Chinese foot binding began as a symbol of the elite after upper class dancers started doing it, and eventually the trend caught on, making women walk taller and feeling as if they were more desirable to the opposite sex. It was perfectly respectable to have three or four inch feet, but if they were more than five inches long, your marriage prospects looked pretty grim. It was no laughing matter for the ladies undertaking this painful procedure though. Feet were massaged with oil before all the toes except the big ones were broken and bound into a triangular shape. The result, a misshapen foot and tiny toes. But hey, it was worth it if they got a proposal out of it, right? It's a dying tradition and I think it's safe to assume that women today are okay with letting their feet grow free. Number 18, Cone Masks. Human history is packed with unusual and eccentric fashion trends from hoop skirts to bell bottoms, but this is one of the weirdest. In 1939, a harsh Canadian winter brought with it the invention of the blizzard cone, and it remained all the rage for about two years. The purpose was to defend the fragile faces of women as they braved winter conditions, but they enjoyed them so much that they were worn during summer months as well. Some fashion statements have made their comeback in recent days, but let's hope this one stays where it belongs in the 1930s. Number 17, Radio Hats. Before the age of iPods or even Walkmans, the Man From Mars radio hat was the only way to listen to your music on the go. This invention made its debut in the late 1940s and had people initially all hyped up. However, technical issues with the hat, including poor signals and quality, drove it to near extinction by the mid-1950s. Its unfortunate appearance, despite the array of available colors, has us thankful for the sleek designs of musical technology today. Number 16. Radioactive beauty products. Nowadays, the word radioactive makes us think of two-headed animals and deserted wastelands. This widespread fear of radiation poisoning wasn't always the case, however. In fact, our ancestors were convinced it was just a fun ingredient to enhance beauty supplies, drinks, and food. In the early 20th century, some of the most harmful chemicals to humankind, including radium and thorium, were added to products such as toothpaste, lipstick, chocolate, and cigarettes. Number 15, branding people. We've experienced many cruel and unusual forms of punishment throughout history, and human branding is undoubtedly high on the list. Although some cultures still regularly practice this technique as a rite of passage, thankfully we now see it as an extreme form of body modification. Still, its historical context as a method for punishment or proclaimed ownership is often forgotten. Human branding was an inhumane way of recognizing slave ownership and marking criminals to represent their reduction of status in life. This mark is comparable to the modern orange jumpsuit donned by those who disturbed the peace. Number 14, Knocker Upper. Also known as human alarms, a knocker-upper was a person hired to wake those who needed to rise early from work. They used long sticks or pea shooters to tap on windows of the people they were waking up until their job was done. This profession steadily existed throughout Britain and Ireland from the mid-18th century until the 1950s. Northern mill towns in Britain had an abundance of knocker-uppers as they housed many dockers with inconsistent schedules ruled by tides. This common sight slowly faded as technology brought with it devices to help people manage their time without human interference. Number 13, Bathing Machines. 
These unique carts resembling beach huts were used to protect the modesty of swimmers from onlookers. Men's and women's bathing machines were set apart from one another to avoid any temptation or inappropriate eye gestures. This invention seems unfathomable today, as most of us put a tremendous amount of effort and preparation into getting swimsuit ready to show off at the beach. Number 12 using hard drugs to cure coughing. We know plenty of remedies to help cure a common cough. Some involve modern medicine, and others utilize herbal tinctures and yoga posture to keep colds at bay. You won't likely hear of anyone using hard drugs to combat chest congestion nowadays, but back in the day, this was quite common. These doctor-recommended prescriptions had no rules or regulations against what ingredients could be used, resulting in dangerous concoctions. In the early 1900s, Bayer Pharmaceuticals sold heroin as an over-the-counter cough cure and an alternative to morphine. These drugs are far from the all-natural healing craze of modern society. Number 11. Boy Dresses Although it's become increasingly socially acceptable for boys and men to don dresses, this wasn't always the case. Throughout history, boys have been shamed for dressing in a feminine manner and encouraged to behave with masculinity. This line of thought makes it hard to believe that boys regularly wore dresses from the 16th century into the early 20th century, and even more surprising, nobody seemed to care. Parents didn't dress their children in this way to create a stir. It was solely for practical reasons, including easier diaper changing, more room to grow, and toilet training. Number 10. Breast Enlargements Breast augmentations aren't anything out of the ordinary in modern society, but ones filled with ivory, glass balls, or rubber would create quite the stir. This was the reality in 19th century Europe, where women received implants made from unusual materials to correct asymmetry. Oddly enough, this plastic surgery came under doctor recommendation for women who were dissatisfied with their appearance post-surgery. Fortunately, technological advancements now allow women to get safe gel implants using high-quality silicone. Number 9. Postmortem Photos In a world where privacy is limited and selfies rule the internet, we have yet to follow in our ancestors' footsteps when it comes to taking postmortem photos. In the 19th century, this practice was used to preserve the memory of loved ones who had passed away. The deceased were made to look alive in the photos, positioned in a natural pose with eyes drawn on their lids. Although it was performed with good-hearted intentions, this morbid ritual is unlikely to make a late comeback. Number 8 baby cages. An unusual solution for lack of vitamin D, baby cages made their brief appearance in the early 20th century and created quite the controversy. Physicians advised parents living in urban apartments to expose their little ones to fresh air and sunlight, but this wasn't necessarily the solution they had in mind. These suspended cages ultimately lost popularity as they became deemed a safety concern. Number 7. Being operated on by your barber. Ever wonder why barber shops display a red and white pole? This well-known mark stems from their history as dependable surgeons. They tackled everything from cosmetic enhancements to venereal diseases and bloodletting, all performed without anesthesia. It's even reported that their services were advertised by placing a bowl of blood in the window to attract bypassers. Thankfully, today, we leave the amputations to medical professionals. Number 6. Challenging Someone to a Duel Back in the day, challenging someone to a duel was a respectable way to settle a dispute and reclaim honor. Despite the insignificant nature of many offenses, a fight, sometimes to the death, took place to preserve the reputations of men. Although this seems incredibly far-fetched in today's society, the modern equivalent made headlines in 2012. Phoenix Jones, an MMA fighter who parades the streets in a modern superhero costume, was videotaped engaging in mutual combat. Law enforcement didn't charge Jones as they deemed the fight mutual. Number 5. Playing the Piano in Bed Originally designed in 1935, the bed piano served to give people confined to their beds the chance to continue playing the piano. This invention elevated the quality of living for those people while providing musical entertainment to surrounding friends and family. Nowadays, this piano would be great for intoxicated musicians or those ready for a session of piano and chill. Number 4. Two Sleeps We've grown accustomed to our 7 to 9 hours of beauty rest each night. And while our ancestors also clocked these hours, they did so in two separate sessions. During the Middle Ages, people would go to bed at sundown and wake around midnight before returning to sleep until morning. Once artificial lighting was invented, people began staying up later past sunset, and slowly the first and second periods of rest became one. Although this isn't the typical sleep cycle nowadays, I'm sure many would be happy to have two sleeps each night. Number 3. Blackened Teeth in a culture where people strive for pearly whites, it's hard to imagine viewing blackened teeth as a symbol of beauty for women. 
But that was the case. Until the end of the 19th century, blackened teeth, or uhagaro, were a mark of wealth and sexual maturity in Japan. Not only did this look provide the illusion of a wide smile without teeth showing, but also prevented teeth from appearing yellowish in contrast to white facial makeup. Many would argue that this look should stay in the past, but it did make teeth less likely to decay, so there were some practical advantages to having a black smile. Number 2. Sending Your Children Through the Mail For a brief period following the establishment of the Parcel Post Service in 1913, People took advantage of the 50 pound weight limit by mailing their children. The pricier alternative of paying for a train ticket justified the decision for some to send their young children through the post. Parents continued to pinch pennies and send their children to visit relatives via mail for several years. Once the United States Postmaster General caught on to this behavior, the mailing of humans was promptly banned. Number 1. Rocks is toilet paper It's not uncommon for people to get resourceful when it comes to needing toilet paper in a pinch. Hikers and campers have become accustomed to using leaves, while some take the time to ensure they always have something soft on hand. But before the invention of toilet paper, people really had to get creative when it came to cleaning up. Some of the earliest forms of toilet paper involved corn cobs, sheep wool, and coconut shells. The ancient Greeks found the most unusual and seemingly uncomfortable items for personal hygiene, including rocks, pottery, and pebbles. This bizarre behavior has me more thankful than ever for Charmin Ultra Softs. I think it's safe to say we've learned from our mistakes of the past, and thankfully these acts have stayed where they belong. Which one did you think was the weirdest? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.